Hey, this is Leif Ganford. I played the cash register thief in The Amazing Spider-Man, and you're listening to the Everything Geek Podcast. Hey, this is Rich McDonald, and I play Commander David Mason on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You're listening to Everything Geek Podcast. Hello, I'm Simon Fisherbecker. You probably know me better as Dorian Moldavar from Doctor Who, or the Fat Friar from Harry Potter. And this is Everything Geek Podcast. Your attention, masters, mistresses. All systems functional for the Everything Geek Podcast. Hey, it's James Arnold Taylor, the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Master Poe Cool in Star Wars The Clone Wars, and you're listening to Everything Geek, the podcast. Jackpot with the Everything Geek Podcast. Hello, everyone. You're listening to the Everything Geek Podcast. I'm your host, Rory, and joining me are co hosts, Leon and Al. Hey, everyone. And also joining us today is a very special guest. We have actor Stefan Kapisik. Who, is, who plays Colossus in the Deadpool movie, and previously played Davros' operative in 24, Dragon Kapisik in We Will Be the World Champions, Yuri in Big Miracle, Bane in Almost Ordinary Story, Dmitry Yelovich in the event, and Dragon in the unit. Stefan, how are Hello, you? Hello, everyone. I'm perfect. I'm feeling so good. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure to have you join us today on the podcast. Pleasure's all mine. Great, of course, such a big movie as well, Deadpool, and we're looking forward to talking to you about it. But before then, my first question for you is, how did you decide you wanted to become an actor? Well, you know, my mother was an actress, but, you know, when I was born, she decided, you know, to quit as an actress and, you know, you know, just turn to her family. So I'm really grateful for that, you know, so I just continue her path and thank god i did that because everything is going on so perfectly for me and she's so proud that's a really great answer very nice to hear so moving on to my next question how were you originally cast as colossus in the deadpool movie well that was like a normal procedure in the beginning because that was like just a hush hush movie and i got the sides i didn't know what's going on you know i didn't know i'm what i'm uh, going for but uh, after like few few rounds of uh, auditioning for that, you know, the guys from 10th Century Fox, they switched the names and they put like Wade. So I had, you know, I'm a comic book geek, you know. So when I heard like Wade, I knew that's Wade Wilson. So and the other, you know, and I was going for some Russian superhero, you know, so I knew that can be only Colossus. So that helped me a lot because, you know, then I like switched my my audition, you know, and I was like trying to get as close as I can to, you know, the Colossus character. So after that, you know, when they hear, heard that, they just, you know, flew me into Los Angeles and I was like doing a performance in Croatia and in Montenegro. So I just had like three day gap. So I sat on a plane after my performance. I flew to Los Angeles. I was flying all day long. I came to LA and I was having a test shoot with Tim Miller, which was supposed to last for like four hours, but it lasted for eight. I finished it, sat on a plane and went back to Montenegro. Just like I arrived like two hours 
uh, before my performance. So it felt like a dream. But thank God, then they called me and said, you got the role. You, you are Colossus. So that's that wasn't a dream. Thank God for that. Definitely sounds like a great story. Yeah. And you, you said you are a comic book geek yourself. What are your earliest memories of, you yeah. know, comic books? My earliest memories are like, you know, because in Yugos ex-Yugoslavia, where I'm coming from, we have like really cool uh, comic book culture. And, you know, we have so many of European and, and the United, you know, American comic books. So I was raised on uh, Italian comic books, by the way such as, you know, Alan Ford, Dylan Dog, and lots of those. But my first, like, memory of Marvel Comics was when my grandpa took me to a store, and there was, like, a, I was, like, six or seven-year-old. I, I, I cannot, like, recall correctly, but I was really, really small. And there was, like, a pile of comic books, some Marvel comic books, and which is really funny today, you know, there was like the first one was Wolverine, some special edition with like a front page in which like uh, his claws are ripping the front play page. And there was like an, a few of X-Men just after that. So my grandpa, when he saw that I'm so into that, he, he wanted like to buy me one or two. But then he, when he saw how much I want that, he bought me the whole pile. And I'll never forget that. Yeah, it's a really nice story, a great way to get into comic books for sure. So, moving on to my next question, were there any challenges you faced in bringing Colossus to life in the Deadpool movie? Well, uh, there was no challenge because, you know, Tim Miller is a big comic book fan and he knew what he wants to do, you know, he has his vision. So, he was just like, you know, uh, getting from every actor what he wanted, you know, so... When he heard my voice, as he told me later, you know, when he heard my voice and the way I did Colossus, he said, that's it. I want this. I want this authentic thing, you know, because there are like so many actors that could do, you could, that could work and that could like go for this role. But Tim wanted my voice. He wanted my acting. He wanted, you know, my uh, approach because he felt that that's it. So when we started working and we were like working back and forth for like four and a half months on Colossus, uh, we were like uh, trying to get so many different versions, so many like different voice ranges, you know, trying to get, you know, maybe sometimes like Klaus is more, more uh, serious, may, may sometimes more funnier, you know. So we, we, we did so many different approaches on Colossus. So plus Ryan Reynolds helped a lot because he had his own ideas about like uh, how Colossus maybe would change some things and say some things. So the writers were like imp improvising, like giving me, giving me so many different lines that I, that I should like, you know, do. But in the end, we made definitely a perfect and most authentic Colossus ever. That's really great to hear. And it is obvious that a lot of work went into it because as we know, you said yourself that you're a big comic mm -hmm. fan and Ryan and... Ryan Reynolds and Tim Miller are big comic fans as well, so the three of that, three of you working on bringing this Colossus to life, you can really tell it worked well. It worked, it worked perfectly. Have you seen the movie? Oh, Not yet, but you're gonna Al, love it. Uh, one of our co-host Al has, and he said Colossus was perfect. So, well, you know. if, if well, one of the biggest compliment that I got, you know, if you go to Rob Liefeld, you know, the guy who was creator of Deadpool, if you see his like Twitter account yeah. or like Instagram, you will see what he says about me and my role as Colossus and about Leslie Uggams. And she plays blind L. So those compliments that we got that we totally nailed and killed the roles are like amazing. You know, when you hear such a compliment for a cre from a creator of Deadpool, you know, it's it's something unbelievable. There's no better no. compliment to receive. No um, better compliments from that. Definitely. Well, and, and on the other side, you know, a few days ago we had like that big screening here, you know, for this for the fans here in New York. So the reactions were unbelievable. I'm really, I, I almost cried, you know, because I am a fan, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a geek on the other side. So I'm so proud that, you know, all those guys and, you know, all those girls they were like so in love with the movie and with the Colossus character. So it makes me feel so proud and so happy and so grateful, you know, that I had this chance and I didn't disappoint them. Definitely. My next question I feel like it's almost a stupid one, but I have to ask it. <laughs> Let's anyway, go. The, the, 
The X-Men films also have the character Colossus appear, however, in those films he doesn't have the correct accent. Did you know how big of a deal it would be to fans that Colossus would finally be given the correct accent through your voice? Uh, but you know what? That, that was our goal, you know, because uh, the Colossus in X-Men franchise, it, it's, it was like their view and, you know, their version, which was not something that, you know, fans were expecting. And he had, like, really little space there. On the other side, you know, Klaus is not American, you know. He doesn't have American accent. He's Russian, you know. He's not a superhero who's, like, thinking about his, you know, his pronunciation, you know. He's coming from Russia, so he needs one of his, like, main characteristics are, like, his, his accent in that world, you know, because that makes him different in some other way. So that's why Tim wanted some authentic thing, you know. Somebody, my, my native language is Slavic, and it's really similar to Russian, though. It's, it's Serbian. But, you know, it's the same root of, of language. So we, we can understand all and speak Russian without a problem. So he wanted someone with, like, my, my voice caller and to have, like, that authentic, you know, accent, not to, not to, like, be some, like, American actor who's trying to do that kind of accent, you know. So everything he wanted to do is to be as, as much as authentic as it can to be, like, perfect Colossus. Definitely, I completely see where you're coming from with that, and it definitely sounds a lot more authentic. As I said, I haven't seen the film myself, but I have seen the clips and mm -hmm. all, and it definitely is a lot more authentic than in the X Men films, which is a good and thing. And in visual part, you know, in visual part, you have like uh, his, yes. that's like some sort of like a small Colossus, you know, smaller. He looks more like a Terminator, you know, than like a Colossus, you know. The, the one in X-Men movies, you know, but the one that we made looks like totally like a comic book Colossus. Visually, he resembles totally like, you know, he's, he's the same, like he jumped from the comic book directly to the screen. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Moving on to my next question, what was the experience like working with the cast and crew of Deadpool? I enjoy like every second and every person there, like, first of all, you know, the casting that we have. The cast members, like, are each of them are such an, you know, every every actor is perfect actor, for the, especially like you know, Ed Screen is amazing. Brianna Hildebrand is uh, is a newcomer, which she's going to be a huge movie star. Ryan is Ryan Reynolds. Everybody knows that. Miranda Baker. Everybody. Leslie Agams. You don't know. You know who to like. You know who's who's better than who. So being a part of that team, especially you know with a Tim Miller as the director is like, you know, the dream team, definitely. That's great to hear. My final question for you is, aside from Deadpool, are there any other upcoming acting roles or other projects you are working on that you would like to talk uh, about? The thing is, Deadpool is opening so many great doors for me right now. And unfortunately, you know, well, there are so many of those NDA things, you know, until studios say it's official and you can talk about it. I just can't, and I would love to, but as a matter of fact, Deadpool is opening so many beautiful things for me, and thank God for Deadpool, and I hope we're going to like talk soon about something new. Yeah, well, that's great to hear, and hopefully we will find out about some of the opportunities Deadpool has given you soon. So, thank you very much, Stefan, for answering all of my questions. I'll let my co-host, Laurent, ask his name. Mm -hmm. Thank you so yes. much for having me. Oh, yes. And uh, my first question for you, Stefan, what, what was your reaction to being cast as Colossus? What was that like for you? Uh, unbelievable, you know, because I, I was like dreaming about something like this for like a long time. And just the chance to, you know, fly to Los Angeles and have like a test shoot for like opportunity like that was enough for me, you know. I was like so satisfied only with that. But then when they called me and they said, yeah, you got the role, you are Colossus. Trust me, I cannot like verbalize the, the feeling, you know, the thing I felt. It's it's it just made me the happiest man in the world. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable, definitely. You know, I just cannot like explain how good it feels. And if given the opportunity, would you reprise reprise your role as Colossus for other? Films? Oh, always, everywhere. You know, I'm totally. Uh, I still cannot believe that this is happening to me. So, you know, and, you know, Deadpool brought this to me, Tim Miller, Ryan, first of all, it's Colossus. So, you know, I think we just started, you know, showing Colossus and bringing him back and people are loving him. So I think that, you know, Fox will, you know, continue giving Colossus the chance. 
That's awesome. And what other actors and actresses would you love to work with in the future of your career and, and why? Oh, well, I don't have like specific names because, you know, I had like, I was lucky to work with so many amazing actors, you know, in my career. And I would just love to continue working like in the Marvel Universe. And, you know, who knows, you know, every, every good actor is a great chance to like learn something. I would love to work in, still like in Marvel world, but you know, on their side, I would like to work with Woody Allen, you know, with, I don't know, De Palma, Tim Burton, um, Guillermo del Toro, you know, with those directors, because all of, of all of their, you know, uh, worlds are amazing. I would love to work with David Fincher and absolutely to work again with Tim Miller. That's awesome. That's an awesome list. That's those are very good choices. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, that's all the questions I have for you today, Stefan. Thank you so much for answering. Thank you so much. Go ahead Thank and you. Give your to our uh, co-host uh, Al. Here's a few questions for you. Okay, perfect. Hi, Stefan. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, just a few questions, because uh, mm -hmm. I'm probably the only one that's seen it out of the three of us. Um, after watching Deadpool, I was in awe in how accurate Colossus was to the comics. Can you tell us like your inspirations or influences in getting into the character? Uh, well, as I said, you know, I'm a big fan of X-Men, so I was like in, involved in the X-Men universe, and I'm like, I was like, I was a fan of Colossus, you know, especially because, you know, he's Slavic, I'm Slavic, you know, on the other side. So, you know, when you're reading from Serbia, those comics, you know, you always have like some sort of like bigger emotion to, to the, you know, superheroes from your part of the world, if I can say it like that, when I was a kid. But, you know, Tim Miller had like, you know, he didn't want to disappoint fans, so he wanted you know, Colossus to be as much as authentic as it could. So we gave him like, you know, we we, we wanted like to to make him as you as you said the, the authentic that it can be. So we were just like working on 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 as two kids trying to make their Im Im imaginary Colossus, you know, to make him make him real. So uh, the thing is, we were just like, you know. Uh, giving our best shots, and we knew that the thing that we are doing is absolutely correct. Yeah, I think every time I'm reading a, a comic that has Colossus in it, I think you're officially my voice in my head. <laughs> well, you know, I think we got because you know, uh, only uh, the difference between my is is my. Uh, my voice and that well there's no difference in voice there's only difference in accent because we tried to make it a little bit more russian so when i said like we can't allow this or we can't allow this you know see the difference you know it's it's a little bit more comic but it's in the end it's like really similar uh, it, w it was perfect thank you um i guess my next question is um what what are your favorite scenes in the deadpool movie that you can talk about I know it's a bit of a weird question. Well, well, movies coming out, it's already coming out all around the world, you know. And in the States, it's coming tomorrow. So, you know, my favorite, definitely my favorite scene. Well, all, all of the scenes that I did in the, in the movie are like, they are really special. But if I need to like uh, take one out, it's like the final, uh, Colossus's <laughs> final monologue, you know, when he's trying to, stop Deadpool from killing Ajax and that's like the real uh, old school X-Men monologue and it's really funny though so that's that, that's I cannot like talk and more about it but you know that scene is my favorite scene definitely yeah definitely it was it was a great scene um yeah, I, yeah my, my final <clears throat> my final question would be um if Colossus appears in the Deadpool 2 um what would you like to see the character do in the potential sequel Oh, well, uh, the thing is, you know, people really love how, how uh, the chemistry between Colossus and Deadpool, which is like, I, I'm really proud of that. But, you know, in case like, like that Colossus is coming back, and I really hope so, because, you know, it, it definitely is a big part to Deadpool. So, I don't know, maybe he can, like, you know, still have, like, Brianna with him, like, uh, NTW. And on the other side, I would love to see, you know, uh, maybe he... Uh, Meets his sister Iliana, you know, she's a superhero too, Iliana Rasputin. She's called Magic. So I think maybe if she comes out as a villain against, you know, there's like so many things. And if we have like X Force, 
that would be cool because Colossus was a part of X Force in one moment, even like he's an X Men, but he was joining X Force and he was joining Excalibur. So you know, there's so many uh, paths that we can like get Colossus to. Definitely agree. I mean, I'm glad you mentioned X Force. I know that's been in the in the sort of people have been there, sort of there are talks that. there are talks you know that you know there's like gonna be like x-force movie or maybe x-force showing up in deadpool sequel you, we never know you know because this is just like green lighted so there's no 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 uh, script ideas right now it's just like you know we're gonna go for the sequel because definitely deadpool is gonna have like a, a amazing success as a movie but let's see let's you know let's enjoy the the, the, the first part of deadpool and then we're gonna like talk about it. The, the sequel and everything else. Definitely, my fingers crossed, and I definitely hope to see you reprise the role as um, Colossus in the X Force movie. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> thank you so, so much for everything. Yeah, thank, thanks, thanks again uh, for answering all my questions. I'll just pass you over back to Rory. Thank you. So that's all of our questions for you today, Stefan. It's been a pleasure talking to you on the podcast. The pleasure is all mine, Rory. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. Hopefully we can talk to you again at some point. Yep. I'll always be here for you guys. You know, whatever you need, I'll be here. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. And, and thanks to you for joining us. So we'll talk to you again soon. Then. Bye. 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 All the best. Bye. 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 Thanks again. Bye. That was our interview with actor Stefan Kapisik, and I hope you enjoyed listening to it. So you both ready to wrap up today's show? Sure. Definitely. So make sure to check out our podcast links, check out our website, website.everythinggeekpodcast.com slash EGP, check out our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash everythinggeekpodcast, check out our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash user slash everythinggeekcast, check us out on Twitter, twitter.com slash everythinggeekp, Check us out on Instagram, instagram.com slash official everything geek podcast. Check out our Mixcloud profile at www.mixcloud.com slash everything geek podcast. Email us at the below email, everything geek podcast at gmail.com. Check out our companion podcast, everything geek comic cast, www.facebook.com slash everything geek comic cast. Make sure to check out the host's YouTube channels. Mine is www.youtube.com slash user slash Sepidus Destroyers. Laurent's is www.youtube.com slash user slash StarLegend9595. Check out Al's Twitter, twitter.com slash mygerma. Check out Stefan Kapisik on Twitter, twitter.com slash Stefan Kapisik. And check out Channel 1 and 3 we broadcast live from www.channel1on3.com. So be sure to check out the Deadpool movie out now and geeks out. Geeks out. Geeks out.